Hello everyone! Good morning! Okay, did you have breakfast already? Already? Okay, that's good to hear. Before we start our lesson for today, let's have our prayer first, okay? Okay, for those who are Catholics, you can make the sign of the cross in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, once again, class, good morning. Okay, so... Before I'm going to start this day, I'm going to tell you or present to you what are expected of you after this class session, okay? Okay. So first, you are going to identify what are waste materials or recyclable products made of wood, um, metal, paper, plastic, and so on. So you're going to do that through recitation. Secondly, you will be, you'll be able to create an output using the waste materials and following the 5S principles. Third, you are going to describe the importance or the significance of recycling waste products to yourself, to the community around you, and of course to our environment. Last but not the least, you are going to integrate the concept of entrepreneurship or business through your outputs by selling them. Okay, allow me to have my presentation first. Okay. Now, let's have a quick review on what, what, we, what have we discussed previously, okay? Can anyone share? Yes, Jethro? Okay, thank you, Jethro. That's right. No, previously, we discussed about enhancing and decorating finished products and also fixing simple gadgets or materials, okay? What have you learned about in our previous discussions? Yes, Welma. Okay, thank you, Welma. No? Welma said she learned how to be creative, how to maximize the things around her. Okay, that's good. Now, I know you are going to use those learnings in this new topic. Okay, so for our first activity, it is called Waste What? Okay, Waste What? Now, this, you're, this is what you're going to do. I'm going to show you pictures. Where uh, it shows the outputs made from waste materials. And what you're going to do, you're going to guess what waste materials were used to achieve those outputs. Okay? Is my instruction clear? Okay, very good. Thank you. Now, for the first photo. Okay, so now the topic of our of the day is about recycling waste materials. Okay, the clues are represented not earlier, no? And this one. Let's go first with this one. What are waste materials? Do you have any idea what are waste materials, class? Yes, Juhaima. Okay, thank you, Juhaima. So Juhaima said no that waste materials are materials that have no value anymore. That's right, because waste materials are discarded, unwanted, or those materials that have no value anymore, okay? They're bound for throwing away. Now, this one, how about recycling? Do you have any idea what is recycling? Okay, yes, Michael. Okay, thank you, Michael. No, Michael is right. Recycling is about the process of converting the waste materials into new materials, and of course, Recycled materials have new value uh, once more. They have this new value again. Okay, thank you for that, Michael. Now, I'm going to ask you, what are recyclable uh, materials or waste materials that are made of wood, metal, paper, plastic, or and so on, others? Okay, what are those? Okay, one by one. I want you to raise your hands. Right hand. Yes, well now. Okay, thank you, Welma. No, Welma is right. For wood, we have wood scraps, diba? Um, for metal, we have um, metal scraps, no, from motor parts or other metals, no? We have tin cans and so on. And for the papers, we have used newspapers and magazines, no? The shredded papers, those are waste papers. We, cannot, no, we can no longer use them with the same um, purpose anymore. Now, next are the plastic bottles. The plastic bottles are discarded because they cannot be used anymore, but we can use it again. We can recycle it and make it into um, flower pots. 
No? Another one. We have used tires, no vehicle tires. But these are made of rubber and someone made it into a basket, a rubber basket. Okay, those are um, discarded materials, waste materials already. Now, how, the question now is, how are we going to convert those waste materials into new materials? Are there steps or principles to follow? Well, that's the question. Now, I'm going to present you the 5S principles. Okay, a brief background lang of what is what are the five uh, what is the five S principles. So the five S principle um, originated in Japan and it was used by a, a company first, but then um, various countries were we were able to use it since it's effective. Okay, for us to further understand what are those five S in the five S principles, I want you to the, uh, to prepare the materials that I asked you beforehand and then. Change to your working attire. Okay, so what we are going to create now uh, is an echo block. So the first S in the 5S principle is seri or sorting. We are going to sort out what are the things that we need and what are the things that we don't need. So we don't need what? Yes, this ball pen. We don't need a ball pen, so set that, set that aside. Another thing, we don't need a notebook. What else? Yes, we don't need this uh, case. We also don't need a charger. Okay. But we need a measuring cup, plastic, a scissor, sand, cement, and this bowl for mixing. So now we have sort out what are the things that we need. Now, the next S in the 5S principles is seton or straightening or setting in order. So basically, we're going to arrange the materials that we have now into what do we need first and what do we need later on so basically we will need first the plastic and the scissor and of course the bowl so place it at the center the cement and the other materials will be at the other side and when we finish it and when will we finish um, using it we'll place it on the other side okay so that is seton or setting in order so now we are going to cut this plastic into tiny pieces, okay? Okay, so now that we're done cutting it, we're going to apply the, uh, the third S in the 5S principle, which is seesaw or systematic cleaning. So this is an, a principle wherein we're going to clean the mess that we made after, uh, after the, the activity. Oh, like for example, this one, I have some spills here, so I'm going to clean it. So that's it. After we have cut the, the plastic um, cellophanes, we we'll have still a clean working area. So that is an application of the third S in the 5S principle. Okay, so now for the fourth S, it is Sikatsu or standardizing. So basically, it is setting standards on the process of doing the activity. So what are those? The, the three S. We're going to apply the three S in the next step that we're going to do. So in mixing the plastic, the sand, the cement, and the water. Okay? Okay, so now this is our output. All we have to do is we're going to set it aside and let it dry under the heat of the sun for about three days, okay? Okay, so now after the activity, you have to clean yourselves up, especially your hands, to prevent the cement drying up into your skin. Now I'm going to show you what would your output look like after um, it will dry. So it would look like this. So this is a modular size. Okay, so now for the last S in the 5S principle, it is Shitsuke or sustaining. Basically, it's just an, it reminds us to apply the 4S that we learned. Meaning, we're going to sustain those processes and those principles on our next activity, okay? Okay, so that's it. That is how we apply the 5S principle. Okay, so did you have a good time? Okay, I see that you really enjoyed the activity. Now I'm going to discuss to you what are the 
um, business opportunities or how can we integrate the concept of entrepreneurship to our uh, to our product, no? to the product that we made. So let's have first the let's have first what are the the capital, no? So for the cement, a kilo of cement would worth ten pesos, and the cement that we use was just one fourth kilo. So it's 2.5 pesos so let's just have it three pesos and for the sand we used a kilogram of sand so let's just have it one peso one and then for the water that we use let's also have it one peso a total of five pesos so we spend five peso each block okay so now there are 30 of you here and plus me we have 31, so we're going to have it five times, uh, five times 31 equals what? Uh, yes, very good, 155. So we spend 155, so if our outputs will get dry, we spend 155 pesos for the 31, um, the 31 echo blocks. Now, Okay, so in the Philippines, an echo block or a cement block would worth 12 pesos to 20 pesos or more depending on the sizes. But since we have the modular size, let's have it, let's just say 10 pesos. Okay, 10 pesos each. And when we will sell it into about 10 pesos each and we have 31, so we'll have how much? Yes, 310 pesos. Very good. Now, 310 pesos. Let's assume that we already have the sales. We have we already have the 310. So we will minus the 155 because this is our capital, right? Okay, who can solve this? Yes, Michael. 310 minus 155. How much? Uh, I mean, what was the sum? What is the sum? Okay, very good. We have 800 55 isn't it amazing we earned a hundred percent profit okay we spent 155 for our capital and we gained 155 155 for our profit that's a hundred percent profit okay now i want you to get a whole sheet of paper because you're going to write down at least three procedures or steps and the activity that we had earlier the create uh, the producing of echo blocks so i'll give you five minutes for that okay okay time is up i want you to set aside your papers because we're going to use that later now let's have an activity which is called daily dozen so here are a dozen of questions or sentence starters so 12 students will pick one each and then they will answer give their answer uh, basing on the question or the sentence starters. So, okay, let, who would want to have first? Yes, Fatima. Oh, okay, thank you for that. Now, let's move on to the next activity. Okay, we have plenty of activities. So, this is called I Care Why. So, what you're going to do, you're just going to share the significance or the importance of recycling waste materials and following the 5S principles to yourself, to the community, and to our environment. Okay, so let's start in alphabetical order. We have Anna. Okay, let's start with Anna. Okay, thank you again for your participation. Now I'm going to give you a task. So I'm going to ask you to collect or save up the plastic wrappers from your snacks or from the plastic wrappers you have at home and then cut them into tiny pieces because the next time we will meet, we're going to produce more echo blocks and then you are going to promote it to your titos, to your parents, or to your relatives, diba? So we can sell it. And good news, the sales will be all yours. Isn't that exciting? Yes, very good. Thank you. Now we're down to our very last activity, which is I'm going to present to you five keywords okay so these keywords are taken from our discussion okay so with the same paper that you used late, uh, earlier okay you're going to write down the meaning or your uh, your own definition of these keywords 
and I'm going to check it out if the keywords that are that I have and the keywords that you uh, the meaning of the keywords that you will have will be similar and that will um, make sense that you understand our discussion okay so I'll give you another five minutes for that okay thank you so much everyone I'm so grateful that you're being participative in our class okay so before we end I would like you to bow down your head and um, state your own prayers okay amen okay that's it everyone goodbye and i hope to see you in our next meeting